Donald Trump appeared before a raucous crowd of Libertarian Party delegates and his own supporters at the Libertarian National Convention in Washington, D.C. Starchild, a longtime Libertarian activist, was taken to the ground by security after he held up an anti-Trump banner. Trump drew his loudest boos after offering himself as the Libertarian Party nominee. The Libertarian Party should nominate Trump for President of the United States. Whoa! That's nice. Only if you want to win. Only if you want to win. Maybe you don't want to win. Maybe you don't want to win. And the loudest cheers when he pledged to commute the life sentence of Ross Ulbricht, creator of the black market website The Silk Road. And if you vote for me on day one, I will commute the sentence of Ross Ulbricht to a sentence of time served. Freeing Albrecht, something Trump failed to do when he had the chance as president, was an item on a list of 10 demands the Libertarian Party submitted to Trump before the speech. Post-speech, three Libertarian presidential nominees delivered a response, but most of the crowd and media had cleared out by then. What did you think of Trump's speech? It was fun watching him speak and everybody's reaction it was kind of what I expected you know he'd get a few cheers some people would really boo him um, I give anyone credit who's willing to go in a place they're not really wanted and deal with the boos and talk to people I don't feel like he brought his a game I feel like uh, it was a slog and he got through it uh, we got through it <laughs> that room was the weirdest room I've ever been in what did you think of the crowd's reaction to President Trump I think that they want to hold elected leaders accountable yeah. And, and I can appreciate that. Do you think that there is common ground between MAGA and Libertarians? Well, when you ask Libertarians, 10 Libertarians, what they believe, you get 10 different answers. So I'm sure not all Libertarians, but uh, there's definitely some crossover and some opportunities. Should Trump be the Libertarian nominee, as he suggested? Um, it is not April 1st, so no. I don't believe so. It has been a positive experience overall. Um, I've been spoken to by multiple reporters from other countries. Uh, the media coverage has been great. And they are they all ask me, what is free Ross? And uh, it, it, I think it's a big deal. I don't trust lip service. You know, a freeing Ross are actually giving us a cabinet position. But it did feel good to be offered that. Are you glad he came? I like the exposure to the Libertarian Party. I think uh, that's super valuable. Uh, I think it was a valuable thing for him to uh, to get to experience a crowd like us, where we're not completely bought in to, to his bullshit. Uh, and we know that when he says Joe Biden, you know, and invented all this inflation, it's like, no, man, like you started this. I think this convention, and especially over the last couple of years, just from what I've noticed in the party uh, being involved with it, is just that. Uh, we get talked about a lot more now. Does that convince you to vote for him? Uh, absolutely not. And what about you? Are you ready to vote for Trump? No. Will you vote for him? I will vote for him if that's going to be best for our party. We have to decide. No, I'm not going to vote for Trump. Are you going to vote for Trump now? No.